hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, welcome to the first out of five. I'm doing a classic week. That means uh, this week uh, I do five videos about uh, classical instruments. Or I'm a real fan of uh, test equipment and uh, you might have seen a lot of the Chinese stuff that I have that is just new, like these nice USB uh, uh, spectrum analyzers or just little USB devices. I have a lot of uh, vintage also. And uh, now and then I put also some uh, real classicals. And I also like the classicals, but because the, the things that you can find on your local eBay sometimes are a lot older than, uh, than it seems at first. And the people that uh, sell it don't necessarily know how old it is. And uh, so I collected over the, uh, yeah, over the last year every time little things from my local uh, eBay and uh, yeah, we're trying to find out where it comes from. And uh, this is the first out of five. So uh, I have a meter. Let's have a closer look. Okay, and here it is. I found this one actually a few weeks ago. And uh, it is from uh, Western. And Western is an American company. But the funny thing is, this one is from Western Berlin. So I like to find out what is that. I couldn't find the type number, but I have here a very little label. So maybe in the microscope we can have a little uh, better look. Um, yeah, it is really from Germany. It is, uh, what does it say? Liegen geeicht. So it is calibrated uh, lying down. So you need to use it like this. And it can do several. I have here the zero, a 1.2. 25, 2.5, and 5 amps. As you can see, it is a very nice wooden box. Leather handle. So let's see if we can have a closer look. It is an AC meter. It's still moving, so it could still be working. So we can try that out. And uh, yeah, well, let's have a closer look on the label. I will try to add some light also. Well, I think the light also gives a lot of reflection, but I want to have a better look at the scale. Yeah, so it is from uh, 0 to 100, so depending on your scale, you need to divide that with the meter, as you can see. Still moving, and indeed it is better, because if you hold it like this, it is a little bit higher than the 0, and if you have it lying down, it is just just below zero and you can adjust it I think with this screw and uh, yeah here you can see Western Instruments Company Berlin. Let's find a little bit more history and first I like to see if I can maybe decode what is on this little white thing so I will get the microscope. I hope I can decode what is on the because if you start searching on Western, you probably find a lot because they made a lot of instruments. And yeah, let's see if I can. It probably has a hard time to focus. Not even sure it will. I need to take it out. Okay, now it does. Oh, this is it. Einstellung. Einstellung was. Einstellung an null. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, it, it means this is the, yeah, to zero them in the needle. <laughs> okay, so there is no type number there. So it's the zero setting. Yes, okay, we could have guessed that. Uh, Yes, maybe if we open it, we can find the type number. Let's carefully try to do that. Well, I look a little bit on the internet. I already know the type number, um, but I found a little bit history of this uh, Mr. Weston. It seems that he was born in the UK in 1850. And he lived up to 1936. Uh, got his diploma 1870. He started up his company in 1888, and uh, he became a U.S. citizen in 1923. 
And in 1893, he made an invention in the shunt. So that we are using shunts in our amp meters, that is because of the Mr. Watson. There is also a Watson standard uh, cell. And the guy had uh, 334 patents on his name. And in uh, 1898, he started also a European company in the UK. And uh, well, later also a little one in, the, in Berlin. But they made more the, the sales, I think, and it was a sales company. Uh, later, uh, the Sangamo company, they merged. And then it became Sangamo Western. And uh, later it even became uh, a meter ink and they were in the aerospace and even some of the Watson equipment came into the first Apollo. <laughs> so uh, it is quite an interesting company. Cool. Okay, let's uh, open it up carefully. I just like to see this famous shunt. Uh, find a screwdriver. Carefully place it like this. I like that it's when it is really old. I think if it's before 60, I, I, I forgot when the bake light was invented, it was probably in the 50s. Uh, so before that, they used the wooden boxes. So usually, you know, when it is wood, it is before the 50s. But I like it, 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 it has something. I don't know if you can just open it or it will just... No, the whole scale is going. Mm. And I'm a bit uh, scared to open it, I must say. Because this is to put the zero. I don't want to break it either. Ah, here is also. Yeah, the whole, maybe you need to untie the top first. Oh, I don't, no, this is uh, also not, no, I don't want to break it. No. Maybe I decide not to open it. I look a bit more on the internet. Okay, I found the method. After you unscrew it, you need to slide the front down. Carefully, of course, not to damage the meter. And then it opens. Look at this. Wow. It has little hooks. And look at this. This whole the meter system, this is just a big transformer. So it is an AC uh, meter. And they all just have an other winding. If you look in the back, yeah, I'm a bit... I can try to remove the scale, but I'm also a bit scared that I damage it because it's very sensitive. Even if you uh, if you blow, it already moves, so it moves uh, very very light. As you can see, there is some sort of mirror, and they call it a mirror back, I think, and that makes it more easy to read the scale. I can try to remove the scale and then you can see that each connection is actually connected to a different winding of this coil here. Which actually is the transformer that creates the magnetic field. Okay, I need to be very, very careful. I hope I can just... This is now. Let me see if I can carefully remove the plate. Without breaking the whole meter. Maybe I can get more space if I just do the zero adjusting a little bit lower. 
And I can move it maybe to the corner there. Like Okay, look at this. They even have here an extra. Oh, it looks a bit burned, but it could also. Hmm, it looks burned. <laughs> here you can see how every winding is connected to the inputs right there. And but it seems to have been very, very hot, so I wonder if it still works. But that is easy, we can just measure that. And here they put two windings in series, it seems. Oh, it's not touching, so it should be fine. Maybe there was a setting in between because no, no, it's half, 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 half. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, because it was open, it was also a perfect opportunity to clean the window. And you can see it's now a lot, lot nicer already. Yeah, maybe I can try to remove this, but yeah, it also it has a life now. It is, uh, I don't mind also. Um, now here is the zero setting. No, it moves nice. No, let's try to get it. I also tried to clean a little bit this mirror. But uh, yeah, this is paper and it's already yellow. So I am afraid that it is better to not do anything with it. Carefully not to touch the needle. Oh, it's not really visible for you, I think. I was blocking the camera. Let me try this. Different way. Oh, I'm a bit shaky. Let's see. No, let me set this to zero. Mm -hmm. Because this is not actually doing anything anymore, it's already broken. It's AC current, it is a coil, so I just should have signal, so if I have here the zero, and I have here the 1.25 amp, one ohm, one point one lower, no, and here probably even lower, five amps. Half ohm, yeah, and it's probably thicker uh, cabling also. 1.6. Around one. Half. Okay. Makes sense. Let's put it back together. The coils seems to work, or the shims, or in this sense, it is more like it's a part of the transformer. I'm now looking again. The screws in the back do only <laughs> this frame because the real screws should be here in the bottom. Okay, let's 
carefully put it back together I was able to put it back together. It is a lot cleaner. I will zoom in later. I want to do a little test if it's uh, still working and uh, we can do that with an old lamp and just uh, put AC uh, through it with the Variac. So uh, let's have a look at it. I did find out it is highly probable that it is a 155. It's a model 155 around 1930. So that is actually pretty cool if it if it still works I'm, I'm i'm amazed so i have my electronic load that is a, a lamp it works. Uh, only thing is, I need to cut it and put two put two clips so we can put it there. So we can do that. Uh, plug is out. Uh, we cut it. Put these little forks. Another fork. And Put. Let's get rid of this. So we put one on the zero, and we put one on the five amp. Well, of course not five amp because uh, I think the light is seventy five watts. Okay, I'm now with the 5 amp setting. The light is 50 watts, so that is uh, 200, 250 millis. Of course, we're not gonna see that in the 5 uh, amp. It's not even moving at all. So, uh, yeah. let me do it to the 2.5 amp setting. Meter is not moving. Well, this is 1.25 amps. And so maybe we should see some movement here. Yeah, the meter was moving a little bit. Let me put it down. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, it is. It is not putting enough. Uh... Well, wait. If it is uh, 125 max and it is now 200, then it should go to 20. That was actually surprising. I just made a miscalculation. I did it again on my uh, phone 
and it should uh, do a little bit above uh, two, 2.1 because we have here 230 volts and the bulb is 50 watts so it do it should do uh, 20 and a bit 21 actually on this scale and it did that well that if you are so low on the scale there is not much you can say so i really need like uh, to get full scale i need uh, 200 uh, 200 watt slide bulb i don't have that look at that we made it look a lot uh, nicer it actually works all the sides look so much better here you have the values 125 amp two and a half amp and five amps Only the leather can have a replacement, but amazing. Wow, the Western 155, probably, <laughs> probably the 155. But uh, we saw that it still worked. At least the meter was not burned, and uh, in the low scale we could see that it. Uh, it more or less pointed what that should have been of course it's better to have a test with full scale but there was already a, a maze that, that that none of the wires were actually burnt and uh, the meter did move so uh, that was ni nice 1930 probably around 1930 cool happy to have this thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time uh, we have four more classicals. <laughs> See you then.